Hi everyone, this is Nandini Nair, immigration partner here at Green Spoon Martyr in Edison, New Jersey. I hope everyone is continuing to stay safe and healthy. I know we're in about our sixth week of this. It's getting a little tiring. My kids are <laughs> really going crazy um, at this point, but just continue to stay safe and healthy out there. I also want to take 10 seconds to give a shout out to all the healthcare workers, first line responders, grocery store people, um, truck drivers who are bringing us our, uh, our food, Amazon work warehouse uh, workers, big shout out to them uh, in our house. Um, thank you so much for all that you are doing to keep us all safe and protected. So let's get to this week, guys. What happened? Well, if you didn't hear, there was a tweet that went around, created panic for everyone this week. Um, we all woke up Tuesday morning to a tweet by President Trump that said he was banning all immigration. What did that mean? What did, you know, we were all sitting here thinking, what does that mean? What type of banning was he going to do? Was that complete stoppage of all immigration? It had created a lot of anxiety and panic and fear. I had so many clients calling me that day and emailing me and trying to figure out what was actually happening. So as of this morning, or as of last night, I should say we finally have some answers. It was a 48 hour wait, but we finally know what the executive order and what that tweet actually meant. So what does it actually mean? What, what are we banning? What are we doing at this point? Well, he, uh, President Trump has signed an executive order last night that basically put a 60 day pause not a ban, a pause on immigrant visa processing. What does immigrant mean? Immigrant means green card processing if you are outside the US. It does not pause anything within the US. So if you are on filing your AOS or if you are in AOS, if you are filing an I-140, there is no pause on any of those type of applications here in the United States. So that's good. It's much better than what we had been expecting. But still, what is the ramifications of this pause of uh, 60 days on immigrant visa processing? Well, what it means is that anyone who has not actually gotten the visa issued on their passport, who are in the waiting game of getting their case approved or they're waiting for their consulate interview, there's going to be a 60 day pause on it, whether it's family based or employment based. Now, employment based is going to be very, um, uh, impacted very slightly on this. There's only about a 13% amount of people um, who do uh, employment-based uh, green card processing outside the United States. The greatest impact is really gonna be on family-based cases, but there are exceptions to this pause. The exceptions include um, spouses of US citizens, minor children, of US citizens, EB-5 investors, healthcare workers who are coming in for COVID-19 um, uh, work. Uh, so there's multiple exceptions that will be, um, is part of this proclamation. Now, so where does this really then impact? Well, it impacts on parents of US citizens. It impacts on siblings of US citizens. It impacts on spouses of green card holders. That's where this is going to actually have a larger impact. So there's going to be a pause, a 60 day pause on that type of processing. Now, do I think that this is going to get extended beyond 60 days? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's going to be a foregone conclusion. I think this is gonna probably be taken out till the November election. So that's really tough uh, for a lot of these parents um, who are waiting to join their um, US citizen kids in the United States. And it's a real like family separation at this point. So we do uh, feel for those individuals. But on a larger note, this was much less than what we had all anticipated it to be. Now, it's also important for my foreign workers, people who are here on work visas, um, in a set, to take a sigh of relief, but at the same time know that within that proclamation, there is some language that's a little concerning to me, and I think it's concerning to everyone, where he has requested the Department of Labor to look at all work visas, um, non-immigrant work visas, and to give President Trump a report within the next 30 days of how 
it can help the U.S. economy. And what that probably means is what has to be stopped if in the work visa context to help U.S. workers. So that's something that we are on the lookout for. I know I'm monitoring this situation almost on a daily basis because obviously we have millions of individuals who are here on various work visas, including the H, including L1s, including TNs, E3s, Os, and will there be another executive order within the 30 or 60 days that will have some impact on that population? So once I know something, I'm definitely going to come out back on and let you guys know where this is going to be going. But as of today, as of right now, we live to fight another day.